G'day fellow Mado the Lugger, the Bandit Nev, I'm uh, Tom Mulkey, the Suzuki Bandit on this uh, Saturday afternoon um, probably around maybe 14 at the most uh, overcast but not raining so that's good the cold doesn't worry me too much the heated grips help tremendously um, probably can't do without them now <laughs> once you've had something you, you probably can't do without it anymore so hmm. well time will tell anyway so what do I want to talk about today well a couple of questions that's been uh, I've been meaning to ask mainly my UK friends maybe people that mm, in Australia might know this as well so if a person gets knighted does that mean that they get money from well the Queen mind you, you they probably taxpayers have to pay it but so do her knights get paid um, like Sir Paul McCartney and Sir Elton John and uh, those sorts of people um, mind you most of them don't need any money but it's normally the people that don't need money that actually get money so that's the first question do knights knighted by the Queen or whoever get paid a salary or money um, whatever maybe someone can answer that for me and secondly I can remember back in the 70s um, there were triple bikes going around and I know that that Triumph had a triple and uh, I thought that I can remember a Norton triple so there's another question for you guys over there. Did Norton ever do a triple? Um, I thought there was one going around Renmark at the time when I lived there. I might be wrong. It's a long time ago um, and it could have been a Triumph triple or something like that. I'm not sure. But I do know there were Triumph triples around at that time. So there's a couple of questions uh, for you guys over there in the UK. Um, I have a, a flexible cystoscopy uh, coming up on the 15th of August. And uh, hopefully it's clear. Um, so I'll be a little bit uptight before I get that of course um, hopefully it hasn't come back um, a little bit of a kerfuffle with this one when uh, I, I had my last BCG I mentioned to Narelle my urology nurse my urology nurse um, that for some reason they, you know, I, I got took up to the uh, the Mobry Hospital. I'll be going up in the gliders today. Would have thought it'd be a bit cold today. Anyway, um, she said, "Look, I'll I'll, uh, I'll make a note of it and see if I can get you back in here in the Lyle McEwen." I said, uh, "That'd be great because it's a little bit further." <coughs> than a person would like to go but anyway um, I'll just get across here the lane's running out yeah so last Wednesday I got a letter from the Mubri Hospital stating that I have a appointment there for the flexible cystoscopy um, 
on the 16th of August. So yeah, well I thought, oh well maybe they couldn't they couldn't book me in in the uh, Lyle McCure or whatever. So um, on the Thursday, just before I went shopping, I had a phone call and it was the Lyle McCure Hospital. Let me know that I have a uh, appointment at nine o'clock um, on the Thursday, the fifteenth of August, for a flexible cystoscopy. And I mentioned to the lady, look, uh, I got a letter yesterday uh, from uh, the Mobley Hospital stating that I have an appointment there on the Friday, the sixteenth. She said, well, look, I'll um, I'll ring them up and get that one cancelled, and you can have this one at the Lowell like you want and she said look I can't promise that they'll always be here but we'll do our best I said fine I said no matter what it is where I have to go I'll do it because let's face it you've got to get checked up uh, especially when you've had cancer you've got you're always being um, checked up on uh, once they've either can't see it or they've got rid of it because I believe that um, I think I'm not 100% sure but I think they're not happy until you're clear for five years so um, and then um, I think they're a lot happier and the chance of it coming back is a lot less. So that's where I'm up to at the moment. There's been another kerfuffle as well um, with Centrelink which is our uh, welfare provider and Job Network who um, have uh, got me on their books and uh, there was a hell of a kerfuffle um, last Thursday was it? Yeah, last Thursday. That's when I went into Centrelink because I was called in and uh, had to do this, that and the other and have to do that just to get $305 a week. Um, but anyway, that's a bit of a long story. Uh, I don't know whether to tell it or not. Um, you know, a lot of people have hassles with uh, government departments and uh, I know one of my cousins, Julie, said, whatever you do, don't let them get you down or else you'll get sick. So I'm doing my best not to let them get me down. But sometimes you just can't help it. They do get you down. One department says one thing, another department says another. Then I've got the worry of um, bladder cancer on my mind as well as other issues. So, uh, you know, they're just, and, and let's face it, folks, I'm, I'm not a young chick anymore, chicken anymore, I'm, or rooster. Um, I'm, I'm going on for 64, for crying out loud, and uh, you, you just don't, your body just doesn't get any better. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm ranting on a bit here. So uh, I'm just going into Gawler and doing a little ride around and uh, it uh, settles the uh, anxiety in that, going for a ride on Smoky. Um, so anyway, um, sorry to bother you with all that crap. Bandit Neb on uh, some Moki, the Suzuki Bandit, bidding you all a very, 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 very safe riding. And uh, until next time, the cheers for now. <laughs>